Welcome back to more Good Day Oregon. Well, Portland-based photographer Mark Downey worked for several years at Time Magazine, and his work has also appeared in National Geographic, Travel and Leisure, and the New York Times. He just scored a major award from Travel Photographer of the Year, and now he is using his incredible pictures to make a difference here in Portland. Take a look. Close the gallery, uh, and looking, as you can see, I just kind of incorporated the gallery into my living room at the moment, so we're looking at possibly uh, the next venue and where we're going to go. I, I don't think I'll have a traditional gallery. I'm just, uh, it's not quite my focus. You know, I'm uh, working on some other projects uh, that uh, make more sense, you know, in terms of, you know, the direction that I want to go. A, a lot of people have told me, uh, some mentors, in fact, have said, uh, you know, it's time to, you know, look, you've covered half the world. It's time to, uh, it's time to do seminars and do things like that. But, you know, I still want to run around the world. I, I uh, you know, I've covered half. I got the other half to go. You know, uh, I'm really fortunate. Uh, uh, the the photographer of the year contest. You know, I managed to get the the silver portfolio. Um, there's a gold, silver, and a bronze. So, you know, I might be a bride's bridesmaid, but I'm happy um, and I'm honored to to you know and just thankful to get to do what I love. It's been uh, it's been fabulous. I mean, I I it was too busy to go to Barbados. I would have loved to participate in the. Uh, in the ceremony, you know, maybe next year if I'm fortunate enough to win again. But yeah, it was, uh, it's great. You know, they, they base it on a portfolio. There's a few uh, geographic editors and, you know, it's based on a portfolio of 20 images, uh, generally from the previous year. So I've got one project that I'm working on, um, uh, Pictures from Prosperity, and, you know, we're channeling that into uh, great causes. Central Concern will be one of them uh, here locally, and then Doctors Without Borders is another one. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of moving in that direction rather than moving in the direction, the commercial direction with galleries and uh, different things like that. And locally, Central Concern, you know, I just think they're doing a fabulous job addressing just an insurmountable problem. Um, and we, all we have to do is go down the street and we see it everywhere. So, and it's hard for me, you know, I could do something you know, in a personal one-to-one -one basis, but the, the issue is so large, you know, what can I do about it? I think Central Concern locally, I, I like them. I like what they've done. Uh, Doctors Without Borders, you know, I love them for what they've done internationally. And so if I can use that as a vehicle, if I can use my photography as a vehicle to help some of those uh, organizations, I'm really grateful for that opportunity. So that's kind of my, that's, that's my focus where I want the, the, the commercial side. Can we, if I'm gonna sell pictures, let's, let's funnel that into good organizations. Uh, uh, as far as my own work, my own work, I'd, I'd really like to do projects that I think have an impact in some respect, whether it's a level of understanding where people understand a culture that's unlike their own or understand a situation. Uh, it may have a news element to it, like, like I was mentioning, but, um, but you know, photography is communication. If you would like to check out Mark's pictures available for purchase, we have a link on our website at kptv.com slash moregdo.